weird, creepy. It's scary. Volume 14. Have you ever seen a man die? Feel like Pharrell in 07 on my shoes, ice cream, make stars, stop them out, it's a man down. Maybe Milo custom PC getting fanned out. Not from the block, I'm from the H and we don't play around. Catch him at a red light with a nerf gun, we gon' spray him down. I'm just already annoyed because that fucking guy with his fucking headphones. This guy walked around. In 2017, Kevin Spacey was accused by several young men of sexual misconduct in a. Wait, men? In 2017, Kevin Spacey was accused by several young men of sexual misconduct. That nigga guy? <laughs> conduct and assault. Oh, wait, if I did you not. I've been keeping up with this story. You'll never believe what has been happening. I did not know that. You can. Kill them with kindness. The video you just watched was a clip from a video released by Kevin Spacey and was intended to be a response to all of his accusers. Of the six men and women who publicly called out Spacey for his misconduct, three have now died. Artie Ben was a Norwegian royal who accused Kevin of groping him without his permission and trying to invite him somewhere else while he was clearly uncomfortable. He would later take his own life just hours after Kevin uploaded the video that I showed you earlier. Another victim who was anonymously suing Kevin for misconduct would also die before their trial. As far as I can tell, the details of their death were never released. But some sources claim that it was cancer. And his loudest and longest running accuser, Linda Culkin, was hit and killed by a car. Because of this, Kevin has never faced any repercussions for what he did. And currently has three movies scheduled to come out this year. Wait, 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 wait. He's not in jail? Wait, I thought he went to jail. I heard about the stuff. I heard about the stuff going on with him. I just didn't know that it was men too. But I thought he went to jail, bro. What the fuck? Here, when you look at this photo, you see a Japanese woman who just clocked in. Wait, you at work? Who is smiling in a creepy manner with her head tilted? Like Mari. But believe it or not, this woman is actually real, and there is a backstory to this photo. Sometime in early 2011 in Japan, a broadcasting company was televising a show about sidekicks and invited a wide audience. As part of marketing, the photographers took pictures of the audience for a magazine and Wait, in let me stop because I don't know what I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know if this is a condition or something, bro. I don't wanna I don't wanna mimic it and it's just like some weird shit. 15s, one of the photos resurfaced on the internet with all the female audience members' eyes blurred out. I'm laughing just because it's like it's like it looks like Mari. <laughs> like if it, if like Someone trolled her picture and like edited it. Except for one woman who looks almost as if she was possessed by a spirit. Because of how creepy this woman looked, this photo gained infamy in the internet community and was believed by enough people that it made into mainstream media. But after much digging, it turns out that this photo was actually fake. Okay. And this particular woman was actually a real person whose name still remains unknown to the public. But if you're wondering, this is the original photo of the event in which the internet still claims it is just as creepy. Why they fu- But how is this just as creepy? Now y'all reaching, bro. She looked fine. She looked perfectly fine here. But that's fucked up what they did to her picture, bro. That's fucked up what they did to her picture. As a fabricated image. Can you hear me? I'd never be- Like, you can never get me on a fucking ship, a boat, anything in the middle of the water. In the middle of the ocean. Like, at all, bro. I don't give a fuck what it is. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Yo, that shit was instantaneous, bro. Oh, I gotta watch my step out here, man. God damn. No, now it's there. 
It's a whale. The woman in this. Right? Like a whale or a. Uh, some type. Some type of fish. This photo is Barbara Bakeland, a model from the 1960s who slept with. A model from the 19s. What the fuck? With her own son in order. Wait, wait, why is he talking like that though? A model from the 1960s who slept with her own son. Barbara Bakeland, a model from the 1960s who slept with her own son. Like as it, like at that age or like when he was older. Either way, it's bad. But like, what the fuck? Play the video. How about you play these six minutes of ads? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna press it. But I am gonna uh, be petty right now. Y'all fuck with ruffles. Danielle, I, I seen your text. I'm not, I wasn't biting my nails. Let me, let me, I wasn't biting my nails, bruh. What'd she say? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought this was, I thought this was something else. In order to turn him straight. When Tony revealed. What? The woman in this photo is Barbara Bakeland, a model from the 1960s who slept with her own son in order to turn him straight. When Tony revealed to his parents that he was gay, it didn't exactly align with their morals, so Barbara went out and hired several prostitutes to be with her son. However, this obviously- I've, I think this would, if anything, push him uh, like more away from wanting to ever be straight. Cause now he's just gonna associate pussy with his mom, bro. It didn't work, so Barbara took it upon herself, saying to her sister, "You know, okay. I could get Tony over his homosexuality if I just took him to bed." Well, she did, and a few years later, in 1972, he snapped. Tony stabbed his mother in the heart, killing her instantly, and was sent to a psychiatric hospital to receive therapy. There, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia, and just a few days after his release, he murdered his grandmother and was taken into custody. But on the day of his prison sentence, Tony Bakelin was found dead in his prison cell, having taken his own life with a plastic bag. Damn. Disturbing moments caught on Twitch live stream. That is this a horrible, streamer is going about her life. normal day, playing with her cat on stream, drinking, and chatting with her followers. Suddenly, she hears a few sirens go off outside, realizing it was her house they were surrounding. Oh yeah, Dallas life. Listen to that shit. Oh shit. Guys, I don't know what's going on. The footage cuts as she runs to the door, and as it turns out, she's been swatted. That shit is terrible. Like, this shit is actually terrible. Not only is this terrible, but this can literally give you, like, PTSD, bro. Like... It's it's it'll make it impossible to sleep at night. Any sounds that you hear, just a knock on the door, just a knock on the door can and will be triggering, bro. This is an unfortunate trend of internet pranking. The viewers obtain the streamer's personal address and information, only to report them for a fake emergency via 911, causing a SWAT team to be dispatched to their location. This at least these cops look cool. I thought this was about to turn. I thought this was about to get worse. African red tail parrot basically was the reason. Why no, yeah, this definitely makes you install more cameras. That's why we got like, bro, my house, my shit, it's fucking cameras everywhere, bro. Why a case got solved? Cause you know how parrots be repeating. I, I remember this. I heard about this. Uh, the parrot started. The parrot would mock like things that he was saying, like, uh, like I guess that was happening during the murder. And was saying ow or like ow and and all this shit or you're hurting me or you're killing me or some shit like that thing that they hear a woman was convicted of murdering her husband after his last words were apparently repeated by a pet parrot who witnessed the attack glenna durham shot martin durham that's crazy time. she turned in the gun and basically said that it was a i would hear him scream and squawk and it would happen a lot at nighttime but then one day literally he just kept going over and over again the same old and it sounded like two different voices <laughs> Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 28. While this appears to be a book with typical wear and tear, the damage at the bottom is from a bullet hole. Say, the math bullet. book belongs to 10 year old Uzziah Garcia, who along with 18 other students died in the Robb Elementary School shooting that occurred just a few months ago. 
This mirror selfie shows Giovanni Bezerra, a Brazilian anesthetist, who was arrested after assaulting a pregnant woman during her C-section. He heavily sedated her. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! This is, the dude, is that the dude that put his dick in that girl's mouth? A few months ago. This mirror selfie shows Giovanni Bezerra, a Brazilian anesthetist, who was arrested after assaulting a pregnant woman during her C-section. He heavily sedated her and placed his private part in her mouth for 10 minutes. I saw this! Uh, I don't even know if that's fucking enough. And is seen in a hidden camera, wiping her face with gauze after he was done. This photo shows a group of US airmen who were taken as prisoners of war by Japanese soldiers in 1945. Eight of the 11 men were dissected while they were still alive, what? and the three others were placed in custody. This photo shows Michael and Susan Kuhnhausen after being married for 18 years. In 2006, Michael hired a hitman to kill his wife. However, Susan choked the man with her bare hands saying, tell me who sent you here, and I'll call you an ambulance. What the fuck? Okay, you fucking badass. Holy shit. Did you know that this woman got killed all just- I ain't gonna lie. Movie. <laughs> Give her a movie. Just because of a false online rumor? Wait, what? Ambulance. Did you know that this woman got killed all just because of a false online rumor? If not, then you might want to hear this. On May 3rd, 2014, a 33-year-old mother of two children named Fabian Maria de Jesus was returning home in Moreno's neighborhood of Brazil until she forgot to bring her Bible from church, mm. so she went back to the church to retrieve her Bible. While on her way back to the church, a group of roughly 100 people attacked her, bound her hands together with a piece of wire, and was beaten and dragged through the streets for the next two hours. Unfortunately for Fabian, she passed away two days after the attack due to serious injuries. And if you're wondering why she was attacked by a large mob, it turns out that Fabian was a subject to a Facebook rumor where she was identified as a criminal accused of kidnapping children and sacrificing them in satanic rituals. What? And when the police released a sketch of the criminal, it unfortunately vaguely resembled Fabian, incentivizing the mob to come after her. Did you hear about that a dude in Alaska who was living with bears? Oh, you got eight? Yes, bro. The bear right next to me is Cracker. And, um, what? She's enjoying a fish right now. I love you, Cracker. <laughs> I don't think she was fucking with that. R.I.P., but, like, I think even the bear was like, what'd you call me? Do you not see my brown fur? My nigga? My oh, brown. Just... Did you hear the, the audio of him getting I, eaten? I didn't hear the audio, but oh, there is audio. Bro. So there's this dude who was living with bears. There's audio? I kind of want to hear it. And then he recorded this, supposedly it's his last footage, and that footage of the bear is the bear that killed him. And everything was recording from video to audio. Video uh, for sure exists, but it's like nowhere like yeah, you can they, find. But you can hear the audio out. online. It's crazy, bro. Him and his... Uh... Oh, his wife, no? For once there is weakness, they will exploit it. They will take me out. They will decapitate. Oh my god, wait. Are they playing? Are they about to play the audio? Wait, are they about to play the audio? Uh... Oh, this, this is a recreation? me they will chop me into bits and pieces i'm dead but so far uh give me a second oh it's a movie okay i i, I, I was about to say i, I was about to say I don't care where I'm I don't care what I'm hearing. I don't need to investigate shit. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Somebody dropped their keys. I hope they find it. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm going home. Niggas always want to investigate some shit. This you don't like this movie? This movie sucks. What is this? Esther? I mean, that it. This is a fire shot, though. That's so boring. Like, it's so cliche, bruh. It's a ghost that can only survive in the dark. 
Bro, that is the e like that is the easiest ghost to avoid. You ever heard of night lights, man? <laughs> Yeah, okay, see, now that's smart, but you should have been, okay, here we go, the fucking trip. That's why I hate horror movies, and I don't like watching them. How the hell that happened from tripping? Unless you got grabbed or scratched. Oh, he got scratched. Oh, wow. I think I've seen this. Yeah, I think I, I think me and Dale seen this. Pretty sure it's on Netflix, probably. I think. She kind of bad though. Who the mannequin? Cause I know you ain't talking about that. That demon. The dark demon. Oh, no! 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 Come on. I mean, there's, you know, there's some light back there. Mm. Mm. Say your goodbyes, brother. I mean, you don't got a phone? Like an iPhone or something? When did this movie come out? <laughs> Damn, yoink this ass. I see lights. I see a I see a roundabout. roundabout. I see, see. <laughs> <laughs> I see trees. <laughs> look, guys, look. Oh my God, Stevenage. Yes. Oh my God. Ah, oh, it's finally. the ends. We're at the ends, isn't it? You see. Ah. Oh. We finally get there. Oh, oh my God. God, headlights. Ah. Oh. oh, last. Car. Jesus. Hello. Oh, yeah. I wanted to be a baker, but I couldn't make the dough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that sounds like something from a fucking Sidemen video. <laughs> I wanted to be a baker, but I couldn't get the dough. Would you marry me? <laughs> you wanna go on a date? <laughs> Would you like to go on a date with me? <laughs> Cause I've got fucking leather hands. <laughs> Stevenage. Stevenage. Yo, I hate, I hate these, oh, hey guys. I hate hey guys. these camera movies. Cause they always give me a headache. They always like, move it around. And I guess it's supposed to make it realistic and like, make it seem like it's a, a homemade thing. But god damn, this shit makes me nauseous. <laughs> Turn the lights on. What the fuck? How did we get here? We just on the fuck. Just reverse, Ollie. Reverse, go on. What do we do? Harry! This isn't just, Hogwarts! Just, just those here, I don't want to see. Oh, for fuck's oh. sake. Now, this is definitely a movie. You can tell how it. You, this is definitely a movie, bro. This is not real life. You can just tell. You can just tell from how it's recorded, bro. It's not a that's what well, I'm saying that like even if it's not a movie it's not real like I'm that's what, that's what I'm saying it's not real like this is not real y'all said it's a real video this is not a, this is not real what, James, James point the camera at me just James just give me the what are you doing turn it back on no, it's not me I, I, I can't turn the bloody lights on what are you turning what are you turning Song kind of fire though. <laughs> Dude ran like ten feet from his car and is already fucking out of breath. Holy shit. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> 
Hang on, that's still kind of funny. Bro. He can't see me. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> that was. No, please. No. Please. 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 No. 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 Dog. Handling. Fuck. Beans. Cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bruh. At least it was, at least they had fun recording it. God damn, bro. I was like, this is too much noise and shit for me, man. Wait, what is this? This. Yes. It was that, that was just too much noise. Like it was just loud, and that shit gives me a fucking headache, bro. <laughs>